goals. Do you have any? One online source says that people who write down their goals are 20% more successful in accomplishing them than those who didn't. And that those who set actionable tasks for their goals and then initiate a weekly progress report to their supportive peers tend to achieve 40% more than those who didn't. Goals are important for the church too. And there are overarching biblical goals that the church at large shares, but then there are individual congregational needs. And our elders at Barley Woods set goals every year. It's important in setting goals to ask the question, what is our purpose? What are we supposed to be doing? Churches can set all kinds of goals, but if we're not careful, then we can drift away from the most important things or the things that we're truly meant to do. Jesus sent seven letters to the seven churches in Revelation with encouragement and then things they needed to do better. And we're beginning a series called Committed Church where we're looking at each of those letters and we're asking how do we stack up, both as a congregation at Bartlett Woods, but also as individual Christians that make up and contribute to the congregation at Bartlett Woods. The first church is the church at Ephesus who had some good goals that Jesus praised them for, but Jesus actually tells them they need to remember their first love and return to that place from which they had fallen. They needed to step back and remember why they existed and the love that should have been driving everything they did. And the hope with this series is that we're both encouraged but then also convicted to know where we need to be in our own time and place by learning from what Jesus said to those churches. And this Sunday morning, we're talking about the first one, Ephesus. Hope to see you there.